Hey guys, it's Kevin, my review for Five Feet Apart. And what Five Feet Apart is essentially about is we center on the character of Stella, and she is this normal teenage girl, but she unfortunately does have cystic fibrosis. She's pretty much had it her entire life, but she is planning on getting new lungs, um, you know, whenever the opportunity arises. And basically one day, she ends up meeting this boy, Will, who also has F uh, SF, and these two very quickly start to bond, uh, it starts to sort of blossom into a more romantic relationship. However, the only stipulation is that they can't be within more than uh, six feet apart of one another. So basically, they have to find a way to hopefully maintain this relationship um, without touching each other, and the rest of the film is them you know, hoping to do so, and that's really all I'm going to say. So, Five Feet Apart for all, I wasn't really looking forward to this movie. I wouldn't say I was, like, dreading it or anything, but I just thought it looked really generic and just sort of the same sort of romantic dribble that we've seen before. There are romance films that I really do like, as you guys know, but this to me just kind of looked like a discount version of The Fault in Our Stars, and you guys know how much I adore that film. So, I wasn't really all that excited for this one. Um, so, come, so again, I wasn't really expecting much, and maybe that's why I thought this film was a little bit less mediocre than I expected. Don't get me wrong, it's still not a very good movie. There definitely are quite a few things that do hold it back, but I will say that I do think this is a better film than it could have been for sure, and it's not as generic as I was expecting, but we're just getting to right now, starting off with the cast. And that's one of the things I will absolutely give this film. There's actually a lot more effort put into it than I really was expecting. And that is especially the case when it comes to Haley Lou Richardson, who I thought was fantastic in this film. I always really do love her in movies, but I feel like she doesn't really get the credit that she does deserve. And I was glad to see that she is headlining a film, and I thought she did a really great job here as a character of Stella. She is very easy to get into, you know, she's very easygoing, she has this vlog that she does on YouTube and things like that, and she's trying to live her life, but at the same time, you know that she does want to be with Will, and you can see how her character starts to evolve and things like that, and, I, and she also is going through some trauma in her life that I'm not going to get into, but I thought overall, Richardson just did a really great job here. She felt very believable in the role. You really did believe that her character had SF, and I thought overall she did a really great job here. She continues to uh, be a very promising actress, and I hope after this she starts to get much bigger roles. I'm not saying she hasn't, but this film very much shows that she can very well carry a film, and I, I hope she does more after this. And then Cole Sprouts as well, while not as good as Richardson, I do think he did a good job in this movie. There were definitely scenes that I thought that weren't the best with him, but for the most part, I thought he did carry this. I think I think he did do a really good job overall. Um, their chemistry, though, on the other hand, it was very 50-50 for me. There were some moments where it was definitely there, and you could very clearly see it, but then... Moments where it's supposed to feel like, you know, these two are really in love with each other it just didn't feel it as much. I think these two do have chemistry, but it's more of a friendship sort of way. I didn't really see that romantic chemistry as much as the film wanted me to, and they really do try to sell it. And again, Richardson does a really good job, but I just wasn't feeling the romantic part of it. The, the friendship part and the bond that they have absolutely but when it tries to, when they try to deepen the relationship um i wasn't really feeling it as much but again i do think both of them did a good job in their roles overall as far as the rest of the cast goes there really isn't a ton to say uh moises arias is also in this movie and it's kind of cool to see him i haven't really seen him do a lot of stuff since like the hannah montana days but he plays poe who is um uh, Stella's best friend in the movie, and I thought he definitely did do a really good job. He has some really good, um, humor and things like that, and he injected that, uh, very well here. Um, I also really like the woman that played the nurse, though I can't think of her name right now, but I thought she did a really good job here. She could have come across as very cartoony, but she felt very sincere. You can tell this is a nurse that, sure, she can be a hard-ass, but she really does care about 
all of these patients and she wants them to get better and she's clearly seen a lot and she's trying to handle this in the best way she possibly can and she, you know their health is her number one priority and I think she definitely did a really good job here for sure a lesser actress like I said this could have come off very over the top but it felt very real with her and I was overall very impressed by her and most of the cast throughout this film now let's get to the directing and the writing, which I will say, the directing in this film is actually pretty well done. Justin Baldoni, uh, I've never really thought much of him as a director, you know, I've always enjoyed him on Jane the Virgin and things like that, but as a director, I haven't really seen that much of him, and I will say, he does a decent job directing this film. I don't think he has a specific style, though, and I do think that holds the film back a bit. Uh, I think the comedy and the drama those two things actually do blend together a little bit better than i was expecting um there's both of which peppered throughout the film the comedy does actually work quite well there definitely are some lines that aren't the best for sure they're not selled as well as they could have been um but i do think that the comedy does work sometimes and the emotional stuff that stuff is actually handled quite well for the most part, and I do think he did a good job directing, but it just wasn't anything that extraordinary. It's a fine directorial debut, but I don't know. Um, I I've definitely seen better for sure. Maybe it's because we've gotten such a slew of just amazing directorial debuts lately. Maybe that's why this one didn't impress me as much, but I mean, it was fine. He did the best with what he had, I guess, uh, but... I just didn't, I don't really feel like he has a style. Like, I don't know if Baldoni wants to continue directing movies, but he's got to have more of a style because there just isn't really much of one there. And I, I don't really think it's stuck out that much to me. Uh, the writing in this film, though, that's where things get a little bit more problematic for me because there are some things in this film that I really do love, specifically when it comes to the character of Stella. I think she is extremely well written. I was surprised by how many layers they gave to this character, how much we really do get into her backstory. There's a lot that Stella is going through that the trailer doesn't really tell you, especially when it comes to her past. I mean, there is this one key event that's pretty much haunted her uh, throughout her entire life, and you can see why she cares about Will as much as she does, because this is really the first person that she is opening up to about it, and that really seems to care about her and wants to fix it in some way, and I, I really did like seeing that. I When we you know when when talking about her past and the things that she's been through and looking at her uh, sort of video the vlogs that she's doing and things like that that part of the film is very well realized and again it's attributed to Richardson's performance but also attributed to the writing which I think is really well done and the whole concept of them having to be six feet apart is a really interesting one because Basically, the whole film, it's relying on these two actors and them having to be in a relationship, but without being able to touch each other. And that's a very fascinating concept, and they actually do handle that quite well. There is a fantastic scene um, when they're in this pool, and they basically end up revealing their scars to each other, and I actually thought it was probably the best scene in the movie. It could have come across, again, as really sappy, but again... Because we care about what these characters have been through, and we know that they do have SF and things like that, um, and the hardships that they faced, it was actually a very effective scene, and I think, again, it was probably the strongest scene in the movie for me. So all that stuff was very well realized. I think the way their relationship is done, it didn't feel as rushed as it could have been. At first, I thought it was going to be, but as it did unravel, I thought it was handled quite well. Um... But, again, as good as Haley Lou Richardson's character is, that's where the film does falter for me, because the film does have two things that it just gets completely wrong. I already touched upon how I don't think the chemistry is all that strong between the two. I think bonding-wise they do, but when it comes to the romantic side of things, it's really not there. But the even bigger error that this film makes is that it forgets to give the other half of the film uh, just as an interesting story. Because again, Stella is a really great character. Will, on the other hand, not really. I mean, here's what we know about Will. He's very sardonic. He seems to constantly put himself down. He does care about Stella, but we don't know any of what he's gone through in life. All we really know is that he has SF, and that's really kind of it. And 
again, the stuff with Stella was really good, but I feel like we needed that for Will as well. You need to get us to care about both of these two people, and they did a good job with Stella. They really didn't do that for Will, and I think there was a very um, big mistake overall because it, it could have given us that much more of a reason to care for his character. And at the end of the day, while I enjoyed him because, you know, I wanted to see him help Stella and things like that, I didn't really care about him that much from a character perspective. Honestly, Moises Arius' character, Poe, I felt like had way more development than him. We actually get a lot more into his character, and the fact that Will is basically your second main character and he doesn't really have, like, that much of a backstory, uh, I think that was a mistake overall. The other problem with this movie, though, is that it gets way too heavy-handed, I think, in the third act. Now, for the most part, this film moves at a very sort of um, steady pace, and I think for the most part they did a good job with that. You know, the uh, hospital stuff is really realistic and things like that. They really don't shy away from the harsh realities of uh, SF and what it can do to you. But then we get to the final act of the movie, and things get really cheesy, and they get really over the top, and things stop making sense. And to me, it seemed like they were just trying to go for an emotional tearjerker, so they just went for the easiest thing possible, and it really didn't work for me. I wouldn't say it completely ruined the movie, but just overall, I wasn't really feeling the ending at all. I thought it just got way too silly, and I really was not into it that much. Um... But again, as far as, like, the cinematography and things like that goes, it's fine, I guess, that doesn't really have that much of a visual style. There are some moments that are really well done, particularly when we get into Stella's mind. There's this one sort of painting she has. There was this one shot that I thought was really well done, but they cut away from it before I, they could uh, do something with it. I, I think there was definitely something they could have tapped more into. Uh, the score is fine. The editing, like I said, the film... It can be slow at times, but for the most part, it wasn't really boring to me. And like I said, there are things in the film that are working really well, but for the most part, this is a film that is really only half working. It has one really good character. Haley Lou Richardson does do a very good job in the role, for sure. It does do a good job of exploring the harsh realities of CF. It really doesn't try to shy away from it at all. It does have some really good performances, but it's bogged down by not giving us to care about our second lead and not really getting us invested in his life, and especially the ending, which, like I said, just gets way too silly. So again, while there are things I can recommend about this movie, considering the fact that this is a film that is contingent upon you caring about the two characters, I can't fully say it works at all because there are a lot of things that do hold the film back. I know it really is only two flaws, but they're pretty big, and unfortunately because of that, I, I, do, I do think that it hindered the film for me because for a while I was enjoying it, but after a certain point I'm like, they're really not going to give us anything else with the Will character, and then the third act came in. Again, I don't want to spoil it, but it just seemed like it was trying so hard to manipulate your emotions, and I wouldn't have a problem with that if the rest of the film was like that, and it's really not. They've handled it in a very natural way. This was handled in a very over-the-top manner, and I just don't really think it worked overall. So because of that, I am going to give Five Feet Apart overall a C+. Plus. Like I said, this movie is a little bit better than I was expecting, um, but still, it isn't really something that I would recommend all that much. Out of the three films that came out last week, it's definitely the best, but still not really saying much. Uh, but that's it for my review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys saw this movie overall, if your thoughts, and we'll see you guys in my next video, and I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.